As soon as they hear it, yeah, soon as they it. it, you want to get dancing. As soon as that music It's comes what you're in. there for, Bess. Yeah. 30 years after they first broke out onto the rave scene and into mainstream, the Happy Mondays are going back on tour. Yes, we'll be speaking to Bess and Sean in just a moment. But first, here's a reminder of some of their finest hits. And here they are now. They haven't aged a day. Sean Ryder and his best <laughs> mate, Bess, join us now. Is it bringing it all back to you, seeing it there? It is, it yeah. Is, yeah. All of those years. Like that. Yeah, it, <laughs> feel, it feels like it was just yesterday. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> when you hear the music, it. you've got to start dancing, Bess. That's you the thing, that. isn't it? Oh, oh, a pilot, a Leap go into straight into it. it. The it thing I think about that from everyone, though, short, doesn't it? You're, you're, you, you keep your hair really short these days. I haven't got a choice. I've got full body alopecia, so everything fell out when I was 50 something. So when you see that there, what's the, what, is it sort of bring back memories of that, or is it? What, my hair? Yeah. <laughs> my eyebrows and my eyelashes, yeah. yeah. The, the, they were the days. They, but that, <laughs> they had eyelashes, it the eyebrows. Was, but it was, that was such a strong part of the whole look as well. The whole feel of the music scene was the style of it, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, we was kids. Yeah. So, you know, mm. great. Yeah. We it's had a good time. It's an amazing sort of sort of memory for me growing up and listening to the Happy Mondays, Bez, and sort of knowing what an important part that was of my sort of upbringing as well. And the fact that you're going out on tour again, so there's a sort of younger generation that are getting to know it, and also people like me can come back and enjoy it all over again and see you perform. Re yeah. Relive your youth. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. What's it like when you all get together and you go out there on stage? Well, I, I absolutely love it. I love talking. We love our job, don't we, Yeah, we do. We love what we we're do. We're so lucky. We're very it. lucky to uh, yeah. And you know what? It's too late to have a career change for us now. <laughs> well, you've got to do what you do best, haven't you? I mean, you know, I think we were all there. I was a massive fan. I lived in Manchester for four years, a, a very big part of kind of all of that scene, obviously. And looking at the lineup for the tour, because you've got the Inspiral you Carpet. Yeah, you've got the Inspiral. <laughs> all right, thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> the Inspiral Carpet, Stereo MCs. This is going to be some tour, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to yeah. be brilliant. We've got all the... All, all we the, have like, toured before together. Yeah. The stereo MCs, we go back. Yeah, we, till the late we sort of stereo was out when the first yeah. game, aren't we? Didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. But not for a few years in that case, so it's no, good no. to kind of all get back together, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And we know everybody, so it's like yeah. a, a family going like, on. You could be slippers, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And do your families come? Do your kids, are any of yeah. them interested? They love seeing you go out there and perform. I should be a granddad, but yeah. not. I don't want them. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately my grandson's a better dancer than me. Oh. Uh, is he trying to have a dance <laughs> off with his grandson? Is he going to take him to the stage? Well, well, he has been, yeah. And, and my youngest son. I like to get all the kids on stage every day. I like the pie pie for... Uh, amazing. Get them all up there. But suggestions then that this might be the last tour? Is no, the, the, what, it, what it is, is the Mondays after this tour in April, is it? Yeah. yeah. Mondays going... Because we've constantly been doing the Mondays for a few years all over the place, so... That, they're going to bed for three or four years while we concentrate on Black Grape and Mantra and Cosmos. Because you've got a new album, a new background so, coming out as well, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's it been like putting the new music down? Great. Yeah. I, I, I pretty much, it's been on the shelf for about a year. I came out of that South African jungle, yes. flew over to Spain to do the album, and then we've had it all waiting for about a year, so it's, it's finally out. Do you still get sort of is that nervous anticipation of a new album dropping, Sean, and people hearing what you've been writing? Or are you, are you now so experienced, it's kind of like, I know, we know what we would, we're doing now, I don't have to worry about well, it. With the music side of things, you know, um, it might not have sounded like you, but we've always known what we was doing. <laughs> not, 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 not on the business side of things, or the other side, but, uh, yeah, we've always, you know, it's going in the studio and creating, so that's what we do. But I guess nothing like that, seeing that reaction from people. It's March, actually. I'm just looking down here. The Happy Mondays tour begins in March, yeah. by the way, just to flag that up to people in Glasgow for anyone wanting to get the tickets. I know you're back with festivals and things as well, aren't you? And that's kind of like having that connection with people must be really special. Yeah, I mean, you know, we saw just... It sounds mad, but we take that for granted. You just sort of do what you do. Yeah. yeah. You say that you're too old for a career change, but the two of you have, in the last few years, become such a staple for us on Celebrity Gogglebox. Yeah. There has been a big shift, and you've done more reality shows and bits and pieces like that. What's it like, I mean, getting that sense that people watch you watching telly and find that entertaining? Yeah, it's a oh, mad oh, concept, oh, look, isn't there it? There we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I was just, even me and I've known him for 40 years, I still find him entertaining when I was watching at home. But that's what people love about it. The fact that, you know, you've been friends for so many years and this is just a snapshot. I mean, I guess we probably only get to see 
the edited version oh, of what... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd like to see the unedited yeah. version. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone's yeah, yeah, seen yeah, yeah. it... I can imagine Some of the things that we come out with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because you don't... Uh, but is that, like, I think you don't really watch a lot of television, so when you sit down with Sean and you do Gogglebox, is that sort of some of the only telly that you get to watch? You get to watch it with your best Yeah, friends? well, I'm with the expert, cos Sean watches it every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I've finished work, I'm just home watching a telly. Yeah. You're in. He's yeah. a proper telly geek. I've got a lot of Apple, uh, Netflix, uh, you name it, every... X, this, nah. Have you been watching The Traitors, though? No, I've not so seen that. You've not yet. been getting into The Traitors. It's any good. It's been yeah. amazing. It's been yeah. gripping the nation. The question is whether you can go and you can persuade people that you are faithful or whether you're a traitor behind their backs and whether you'd be any good at lying to people. Right, oh, right. yeah, right, OK. I reckon we'd be good at that. Because <laughs> well, we're wondering whether there's going to be a, ce a celebrity <laughs> like version. To people. So there we go, you could get in on the celebrity version, couldn't you? You just never know. You never know. Do, you never know. You never know. That fascinating. Talking about that, so you were in, obviously, going back to the jungle, how was all of that reliving? Being it was there. great. I mean, I can't even believe it. Right? That was 2010. You know what I mean? That's, that's 14 years ago that I did that. Uh, first time when I went in, I mean, you know, I've done it twice. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. First time I went in, I was You a bit loved younger. it so much, you went back. Yeah, well, yeah, I didn't want to go home. You know, you could have left me in the jungle <laughs> oh. in 2010. I thought it was great. <laughs> I was intrigued, uh, Sean, that you've recently had your ADHD diagnosis. Oh, yes. And I think it's, 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 uh, there's a lot more late diagnosis of ADHD and, and neurodiversity happening now. Yeah, well, what I mean, sort of difference has it made to you? Well, just... Under... He understands himself I a little bit better now. I, I actually <laughs> totally understand myself now, you know. It's... I'm at one, I'm at peace. <laughs> but does it explain... It explains sort of a lot, it explains everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you and... know, all the madness. Yeah, yeah. Have you found that it's helped you sort of plot what you need to do in order to cope with it now? Well, basically, really, you know, I've got six kids. So I've got five of them, or four of them with ADHD, ADHD. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. So it was through the, through the kids that, uh, you know, when they remember getting diagnosed and saying, right, we want to see dad. Because <laughs> oh, it's definitely not mum. Yeah. You know, where it comes from. So they see dad and, yeah. It's really interesting, though, because I think for those people watching then, what, what sort of signs were they, were they kind of thinking, this is what it's down to? Uh, I think everyone's different. Yeah. It's not one, you know, one... She fits all, it's not, you know what I mean? It's, everyone's got little different bits. But I does guess it, you would it say it's worth it, though. You know. Does it explain stuff for you, though, Bez, and the rest of the band, in terms of sort of the attention or, or how Sean has... Well, B he thinks he's normal, he thinks... <laughs> <laughs> I am normal. I, I say, you, I think you know what I mean? We, 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 I say, you've got a bit of that in you. No, I've not. <laughs> Nah. So you've not been officially diagnosed or tested anyway? Yeah, I'm in denial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I just wonder from the point of view of, you know, you'd say to people, yes, actually, it's worth getting a oh, diagnosis. Absolutely. It's worth course, getting it yeah. looked into because at least, you know, for you, it has then led to an understanding, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't take the medication. I tried it. And it actually, it sort of fit in gear straight away, you know, but uh, I decided not to... Uh, and that's a first, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not to stay on the map, in fact. It shows how much you've grown. That's what it is. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's great to have you both in this morning. Thank you for coming in. Uh, best of luck with the tour. Sounds like it's going to be absolutely cracking yes. the lineup. And the new amazing. album as well. We didn't get onto the biopic either. Oh, is yes, the, is we the, didn't. Is it, is it in the works? Is it going to happen? When are we going to see well, it? If we ask Matt Greenhouse, who's just done the... Amy. Yeah. The Winehouse documentary, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. But still, yeah, I mean, this has been going, it's like movies, isn't it? You know what I mean? This Takes has been going on for done. years now, you know, so we'll wait and see. Stuff to be sorted out. Yeah. Oh, well, we can't wait At to see it. At some point, we'll keep our fingers crossed yeah. it does actually happen. Great to see you both. Thank you for coming Thank in. You. Nice Thank one. you. Thank you.